What is going on guys? DBG here and today we're going to be telling you guys how to get this card as quickly as possible. And it is a very, very good card right here and I'm guessing it's in the rewards. Is it in Domination Rewards? I'm not sure exactly where um, you can find it. Yeah, there it is. So you can see here, you can play 3Ds, you get Tyrese Maxi 3D, Shangoon. By the way, 3Ds is way better. Like these two guys are good and Shangoon's great. The problem is they played the same position. But um, I mean, obviously completing um, 99 stars gets you guys LeBron James. So LeBron James is going to be that type of reward. And as you guys can see right here in Domination, um, that's what it is. So you guys, 15 stars gets you him. 15 stars here gets you Dwayne Wade. The problem is you need to win two game or Dean Wade. The problem is you need to earn two, win two, sorry, to go on. So it's actually going to be a lot harder to get the Western Conference ones. So if you guys, again, as I said, if you're just starting out, what I advise you to do is win two games here, win two games here, complete Denny Avdia. Um just because you're only playing three extra games and he's really good. And then obviously win, you're gonna have to win every one of these games because you wanna get Shangun. And then obviously um, LeBron James is right here. As somebody that like did not play any real like domination, um, who hasn't played any of it this year, it's not too bad. So the difficulties are gonna be the same. Which is easy like win by 10 points on all-star difficulty is not that difficult especially even if you're just starting out so if you guys have the players to do it like the only player you guys need to be able to afford is this guy right here um what i would say is go and i'm just gonna make a team right here the let's call it i don't play salary cap in this account i don't even use this account anymore to be honest um and i won't use it till non-gambling cards come back in the game so basically um I'm going to put together like a very, very cheap team. So 3,000, 4,000 is perfect. And this is the one player that you're going to really need to get in order to beat the all CPU and All-Star every single time. It's Kyle Korver. Kyle Korver. And the rest of this team, let me just throw in some like ultra cheap guys. You're going to have 2,000 MT for him. Uh, you're going to 800 MT for Lively. Heck, you're probably... Whereas Emerald centers, like running this line up here is perfect. Like you just need like one or two players you can score with. And I'm just going to go with a very nice little cheap, cheap team that uh, anyone can build. Like this is a bench team lineup that I'm going to be running with that I'm going to show you guys that literally anyone can build this team and they can be successful. So Doug Collins, just as far as Emerald shooters goes, um, because the Max Struess locker code's gone. If the Max Struess locker code wasn't gone, I'd be like, use Max Struess, but the locker code unfortunately is gone. Um, so you can see obviously that. Let me just throw him in. I'm just, I'm purposely picking cards that are less than a thousand MT, by the way. If you're wondering like who I'm choosing and why I'm choosing them, it is intentionally just a bunch of guys that are less than a thousand MT right here. So yeah. Um, I don't even know if there are any good power forwards. I just need bigs. He's, I think he might be slightly over a thousand MT. Emerald center. Um, yeah, I really don't know who actually is less than a thousand to be honest. Um, I know Porzingis is more expensive. Let me just throw in him and just hope that he's less than a thousand. Because literally all you need is for Corver, it's really easy. So it doesn't matter what team you're coming up against. You're not coming up against good players. And that's one of the big things is that you're coming up against series two cards, which are actually really easy. So I'm just going to click on the Sixers and use this team right here. And if you've managed to get yourself Kyle Korver, uh, this is all you have to do. Also, this is one, this is a tip that will actually probably save the guts of like 20 minutes um, throughout the whole thing. So you see um, all of these action replays, never off, never. Like it will help you on that. It'll help you. And in turn off motion blur, just, I don't even know if, that really makes any difference but like you're going in obviously you don't want to call any timeouts and stuff turn all that to manual make sure you turn subs onto manual but literally that's all you have to do like wherever cock whoever is throw the ball to him shoot that's all you have to do 
turn your meter off. Even if you've just picked up the game today, turn your meter off, go into freestyle, learn to shoot with cock order, and just press the shoot button. I'm not joking. Like 14,000 MT is the best 14,000 you'll ever spend. You'll be able to get them after like three games. So you don't, if you can't, like you can't afford Call Corvus straight away. The first, like these are every other card in the court, other than like Suggs, Corver, and Franz. Um, Corver or Franz and Suggs is 7k combined. Literally just pass the ball to Corver and shoot. That is all you have to do. I'm going to go with the bench line up here. Um, the one player I want to shoot with isn't on the floor, which is annoying. Dyson Daniels, there we go. Every single player in my bench lineup is less than 1,000 MT as far as I'm aware. And I'm going to show you guys what you do with that. So you just need like a player that you can score with. Like a guy that I really like to release or that's a pretty decent shooter is Doug Collins. He has range extender as well. And because Doug Collins is there with like Doug Collins on normal, I don't think you can like shoot in their face. Defensively, obviously you don't want to do what I did there and leave them wide open. Um, but this is all you have to do. This, this will work like 80% of the time. Pick, fade, come off it hard, throw the pass and hope that he catches the ball properly and green. That's all you have to do. On this difficulty, defense-wise, um, like make sure you just have a guy with clamps. Hold the L2 button. Like I will get a stop without using my um, right hand right here, and just stick on one player. Stick on one player. They're gonna hit that shot. Cool. Um, they're gonna sometimes hit shots. I just want to check: Can Doug Collins um, shoot in defender's faces? Yeah, Doug Collins can shoot in a defender's face, but it, as you can see, as a yellow contest, so it's a little bit harder. But like on All Star difficulty, you can get guys for under a thousand MT. You can see there, I did bare, I didn't even use my right hand. I just pushed him out of bounds. Like these um, players you're coming up against are really, really weak. They're gonna hit shots wide open. That's the only real time they're gonna hit the shot is when they're wide open. But otherwise, it is just I didn't even use the screen that time in his face. You can see there's a contest on that. I went and missed it. So you probably should use the screen. That was just bad by me and just impatience. But like, unless they're open, they're going to miss some shots. So we're 12-8 up. Like I'm 12-8 up, not really focusing, using guys that are 1,000 MT. Um, always use the screen, quick pop and open. That's my fault, I missed. You're going to miss some shots, you're going to make some shots. And then like, again, as you get higher in MT, like obviously, Corver is the, is the, like, he's the kryptonite for all these. You just shoot the ball with Corver every single time. They can't contest it. I'm trying to think of some other guys that are, like, uncontestable. If you had the Max Struess free agent card, he's pretty good. Um, Peyton Watson's very hard to contest, but he's a little more expensive. Strawder's hard to contest, but he's... Yeah, I don't know, really, with him... But um, it's all you need. Like you can very easily do this with a bunch of cards that are less than a thousand MT. Just Corver is the one. Like that's a bad shot right there, because I shot the mid range and he was moving. Like just, I'm just gonna show you guys one more shot to prove that this works. But that's basically it. That's all you have to do. Like there's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of tutorials. There's gonna be playbooks and stuff. But I don't like. Oh, just let me, CPU. Just let me dribble the ball. Uh, I don't like talking about playbooks really this year. Um, because you can't buy playbooks. So there's kind of like no point even really talking about the playbooks at all this year. Um, and there's no like just random plays you can run that'll work. Just pass the ball to Corver, shoot in their face, green. That is all you have to do. That is all you have to do to win every single game. And then obviously don't call timeouts, get ahead um, a bit and focus even slightly on playing defense and you're good that's all you have to do the rest of this team like you can get rid of him like you can honestly honestly this guy's kind of hard to contest but like <clears throat> let's just say what price is ward is ward still over a thousand empty charlie ward could still be over a thousand empty he's a thousand empty so let's just say charlie ward because he plays defense corver uh sean elliott because he's six foot eight Every single player in this lineup is under 1,000 MT. And, like, you can discard your starter packs. So, like, you can discard Victor Wembanyama for 2,000 MT. And with that 2,000 MT, you can buy a couple... Like, you can buy these two guys here, and you can discard a couple of your centers. 
Like if you could, if you discard your starter pack and bought all these, you would have three or four KMT left over. And then you just need to win two games without Corver, and then suddenly you pick up Corver or play a little bit to get Corver. And once you get this card, you've won. Once you get this card on all-star difficulty, all you have to do is go to shoot around, learn how to green, and there is no contest that will stop Kyle Corver. You just press the square button and it goes in. That is it. There's no more or there's no more complicated way of doing it. If you've got the best players in the game, you're gonna very easily do this. But the trick, the secret to get this card as quickly as possible, as easy as possible, and for as little empty as possible, even if you're starting the game, is to get this card as quickly as possible. And that's all you have to do.